welcome back students in yet another short video on general anatomy blood vessels i will tell you about the end arteries and the functional end arteries okay just i will explain what is what are the end arteries and what are the functional end arteries now end arteries first we learn about our the end arteries now end arteries are those arteries which do not anastomose with that of the neighboring uh, arteries or precapillary at the precapillary level okay for example this is an organ say for example it is small intestine and here we have seen has shown that there are the three uh, capillary plexus present which are the continue in continuation with that of the arterioles so three arterioles are neighboring arterioles are breaking into the capillary plexus for an organ here okay and here there is no anastomosis okay pre capillary anastomosis is absent that means these adjacent arterioles are not joining each other as we have seen in the video for the pre capillary anastomosis okay there is absence of pre capillary anastomosis so these are the arteries which do not anastomose with the neighboring arteries at pre capillary level okay and these type of the hmm, arteries are called as the end arteries e n d end okay so don't confuse with the a n d end it is e n d end so this type of the arteries are called as the end arteries okay so in case of the blockage if suppose this arteriole is blocked so no blood can go to the capillary plexus okay of this arteriole and therefore the tissue which is supplied by this capillary will die okay hmm? so there will be the uh, necrosis or death of the tissue because there is no uh, capillary pre capillary anastomosis okay so because it is end arteries so, so this kind of the arteries they are found at various places in our body though i told you in the last video that the pre capillary anastomosis is generally the rule and it is most of the tissues of our body they are having the pre capillary but there are certain places in our body where there is no pre capillary anastomosis and the these arteries are end arteries and let us see which are those places for example it is the central artery of retina the retina of our eyeball is very sensitive and it is supplied by the branches of the central artery of retina and at the pre capillary level this arterioles of central artery of retina they are not having any anastomosis so if there is a blockage of the arteriole in the retina then that portion of the retina which was supplied by that arteriole will die okay will die forever similarly the vasa recta of mesenteric artery arteries which are supplying to the intestine in the mesentery which is the uh, double fold of peritoneum hanging the intestine there they form the long arterioles and they are called as the vasa recta and in between the vasa recta there is absence of the pre capillary anastomosis so this, if these arterioles are blocked then the intestine will also die okay that part of the tissue of the intestine in that region will die similarly the spleen also has the hmm, end arteries part of the kidney will also so the end arteries so there are various tissues in our body which are having the end arteries not they fail to form the pre capillary anastomosis okay they form to so you should understand what is end arteries and where it is formed because it is having the great clinical significance okay great clinic now i am moving to the last diagram and this functions of the end arteries okay it is like that though there is a presence uh, what are the functional and now we come to the functional okay end arteries are over but then there is another type of the end arteries which are called as functional end artery the difference is that in the end arteries there is absolutely no pre capillary anastomosis but in functional end arteries there is a pre capillary anastomosis is there 
and this precapillary anastomosis but is of uh, little use little use means whenever there is a blockage okay in any arteriole then they are the i mean to say the this communication or this uh, anastomosis is such a narrow anastomosis that hardly any blood will bypass and that that's why the area supplied by this uh, the blocked arteriole will um, start dying okay but gradually body will uh, i mean say adapt itself and will try to open up this communication which are very narrow which uh, are not sufficient to supply the blood they will gradually dilate and after few days few weeks okay mm, or few months they will develop in such a way that the blood will start flowing through that okay this kind of the arterioles okay are communication or the arteries they are called as functional end arteries that means anatomically they are not the end artery but functionally they are an and why they are not anatomically end arteries because there is a communication exist okay there is a uh, anastomosis is there but functionally they are end arteries because mm, in this situation of the blockage they functionally they are not capable to supply the tissue okay of the blocked artery because they are so narrow that means that's why it is called as the functional end arteries okay now this functional end arteries which are present in our body they are present in two very important organs that you should not forget one of the organ is the heart the heart is supplied by the coronary arteries and the branches of coronary arteries at the arteriolar level they are the functional end arteries that means anastomosis is there but it is not sufficient in the similar way the second important organ is our brain the cerebral artery the cortical branches of cerebral artery which are supplying to our brain they are also functional artery but uh, i will just give you an example which will helpful for you to remember the function of the functional end artery suppose if you are running uh, jogging i mean to say for uh, uh, for a long time that is say for example you are very regular uh, jogger for 5 years and then you are running say for example 5 kilometers a day every day and then your heart will be under stress condition okay so the os functional and artery of your heart will gradually open up with this strenuous exercise and the chances of getting the heart attack which is due to the blockage of this coronary artery will not be there okay probably will not be there so that's why you can make a functional end artery okay a uh, i mean to say a uh, functional artery hmm? the functional artery where the anastomosis will open up thank you very much for watching this video